I like to think of DevOps engineers as the superheroes of modern engineering, but even superheroes are useless without their gear. So in this video, I'm breaking down six essential tools every DevOps engineer should master, along with the best courses to help you get hands-on fast. The first tool is Terraform, the foundation of modern infrastructure. A huge part of DevOps is provisioning and managing infrastructure. And today, that means using infrastructure as code, with Terraform leading the pack. Before infrastructure as code, deploying infrastructure felt like assembling a puzzle in the dark. Manual steps, misconfiguration, and lots of guesswork. But Terraform fixes that. You describe your infrastructure in simple, human-readable code and deploy it reliably every time. Why Terraform matters for your career? Every company moving to the cloud wants automation and consistency. Terraform gives them both. And that skill is in high demand across AWS, Azure, and GCP. To learn Terraform, one of the best courses that I recommend from Udemy is this one from Brian Krausen, which is 14 hours long, the Terraform Associate hands-on labs that includes, as the title says, more than 70 plus AWS labs. And it also helps you to prepare for the Terraform Associate certification, which I really recommend to obtain, as it's very on demand and required in many job descriptions. The second tool is Docker, the engine behind modern applications. We have all built an app that works perfectly on our machine and then fails everywhere else. Docker solves that by packaging your app with all the dependencies inside a container, like sending your code on a trip with its own suitcase. Why DevOps engineers rely on Docker? Eliminates the works on my machine problem, ensures consistent behavior across environments, and is a core building block of microservices and Kubernetes. To learn Docker, I really recommend this course from Udemy, from Monshat, Man and bed. the docker for the absolute beginners that it's 4.5 hours long but also there are great courses if you want to go deeper like this one docker and kubernetes the practical guide where you also you learn docker compose or this one docker master with kubernetes docker compose github action using devops i'm building a course that takes you from zero experience to interview ready portfolio of serious devops projects the kind that actually prove you can do the job if that's something you want, join the free waitlist at the link in the description and you will get early access and a special discount when it launches. The third tool is Linux, the quiet skill that changes everything. Most servers, containers and Kubernetes nodes run on Linux. You don't need to be a guru, but you need to be comfortable with terminals, permissions, processes and bash scripting. A Reddit user once said, Knowing Linux in DevOps is like a chef knowing how to use a knife. And it's true. It's the skill everything else rests on. Now, to learn Linux, I really recommend this course from Udemy, the Linux command bootcamp, beginner to power user, that it's 16 hours long, and it will give you a really great uh, foundation to be a Linux power user. Skill number four, CICD tools, automation that makes you indispensable. Whether you use GitHub Actions, GitLab CI, or Jenkins, CICD is the backbone of DevOps. Without automation, deployments become slow, risky, and inconsistent. CICD changes that by automatically fast testing, validating, and shipping code. What CICD gives you? Early bug detection, faster release cycles, reliable deployments, more time for creative engineering, less firefighting. And to learn CICD, I really recommend this course from Tech World with Nana, this GitLab CICD tutorial for beginners that it's one hour long, and it really explains all the important points to understand CICD. And if you want to go deeper, you can also prepare for this certification, the GitLab Certified CICD Associate Exam, and you can prepare with courses that GitLab offers. Here you have this one, GitLab, the learning path, and here you can prepare for the exam. And it would be great if you can get this certification, you will stand out from other candidates. Skill number five, Cloud platforms, the DevOps playground. Whether it's AWS, Azure, or GCP, cloud knowledge is essential. Nearly everything DevOps engineers do, scaling apps, storing data, managing networks, touches the cloud. A PwC report found that 78% of companies already run part of their business in the cloud. Translation, cloud skills equals job security. Where to begin? AWS is the most widely used, but I recommend that you start with the cloud provider that is used the most in your area. So focus on that. Regarding cloud, I recommend this course from Stefan Marek, 
if you want to go deep into AWS, that prepares you for the Solutions Architect Associate exam. If you want to go deep into Azure, I would recommend you to do this course for the AZ-104. This one from Scott Duffy is really good, but also you can try other courses in Udemy, like this one from John Christopher or this one from Nick Coiler. All of them are really good. And if you want to go deep into GCP, Google Cloud Platform, I recommend you to do this course from Magba that it's nine hours long, or this one from Dan Sullivan that prepares you for the Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer Certification. And the last and sixth skill, of course, Kubernetes, the orchestrator of modern systems. Once you understand containers, Kubernetes is the next logical step. It's a system that automatically manages those containers at scale. Think of Kubernetes as the conductor of an orchestra. It decides which container runs where, keeps apps healthy, handles scaling, and helps teams deploy quickly without chaos. Why Kubernetes is essential? It's the backbone of modern microservices, used by companies of all sizes, makes infrastructure self-healing and highly scalable, a must-have for higher-level DevOps and SRE roles. And last, to get deep into Kubernetes, I recommend you to do this course from CodeCloud, the Certified Kubernetes Administrator, that's a 25-hours long course, and also, uh, I recommend you to see one of my previous videos where I explain uh, the best roadmap to tackle Kubernetes, all the certifications. And I give a lot of resources on how to prepare for these tough exams. So final thoughts. One reason DevOps is such an incredible field is because it rewards skill, curiosity, and execution, not just degrees or job titles. Some of the best DevOps engineers I know are completely self-taught. Mastering these six tools is one of the best investments you can make in your career. They will help you stand out, build real world projects, and walk into interviews with confidence. But remember, DevOps isn't all smooth sailing. There's a messy, stressful side too, which I break down in the next video.